Uh, I have a question pertaining to a state, uh, I guess. Uh, uh, a friend and I of 54 years have uh, have accumulated quite a bit uh, between us, and uh, and we have everything going to each other. And it's in both of our names. And uh, and we have a power of attorney to each other, and now he's to me he uh, developed dementia, and I need to uh, void my power of attorney going to him and uh, make it a springing power of attorney I think to cover if I were to have a stroke or get incapacitated. Yes. Okay. So it sounds like you have a couple of different issues there. So um, there is something called capacity. So you cannot have a power of attorney if you do not have the capacity to enter into that power of attorney. Now, if you want to get a power of attorney for yourself, as long as you're in your right mind and you're over the age of 19, then you can get what is called a durable power of attorney so that you can get someone to act on your behalf, to handle anything from uh, your business affairs, your bank accounts, your finances, finances, things of that nature. As far as your friend is concerned, if they already have dementia or some debil debilitating capacity or mental issues, then they may not be able to enter into a power of attorney and um, that can be litigated in court. So you want to make sure that if you need to get a power of attorney or a will or something of that nature, you do so while you have the capacity to do so. So you definitely want to seek out an attorney so that you can get that durable power of attorney together before that happens. Well, Keisha, he he does need to rescind that power of attorney for his friend that now has dementia. Though. That's he, correct. That, they, they need to get. They need to rescind that one. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Because the friend no longer has capacity. Because it sounds like he said the friend has dementia. Right. Yes. Wonderful.